We have all made a build on 2K before. Whether you just went into the builder and winged it, or looked up some build videos to help you out a little bit. Personally, I have made hundreds of builds over the years, ranging from competitive builds, fun builds, NBA player builds, or even troll builds. And in recent years, usually when you go into the builder on any 2K, there is a custom build mode and an NBA player build mode. But this year, 2K recently added a community builder where 2k players can submit their own custom builds to potentially be put into the game with their own build names so today i am going to try to get my own build in the game so make sure to drop a like on the video before we get into step number one of the process to getting our own build into the game and subscribe to this channel check if you're subscribed we have plenty of banger videos on the channel you've probably watched me before and you're still not subscribed hit that sub button we're on the road to 1 million and let's get into it all right step number one we got to study this community build section and we have to choose our position so obviously we have the custom build section we have the nba template build section and just like in this nba template build section where it has every position in the game and different players in each position with templates that you can customize height weight wingspan position with and even stats and stuff with you can do in this section right here with the community builds the only difference is is these community builds are builds that are put into the game from people that actually played the game just like me or you watching the video as you can see they have point guard shooting guard small forward power forward center all the positions and they have two different builds from different 2k players in each position because this community builds thing started for the first time ever in this 2k in season two so they have season two builds and season three builds and hopefully we're going to be in season four so that's a total of 10 builds they have right now hopefully we're one of the next five by the end of the video so the first thing i'm going to do to help me decide on what position to pick is rate all of these builds on a scale of one to ten to help me under understand what positions are lacking and not lacking and also understand what builds are even getting accepted into this and if any of the build creators of these builds that i'm about to rate are watching this video don't take any offense of what i say about your builds obviously your build has to be good in someone's eyes to get accepted into this build creator thing so let's go ahead rank all these builds as fast as possible on some speed run stuff and you can follow along and rank them as i'm ranking them all right here's the first center build it has no steel no perimeter defense the pass accuracy is a little too low it's missing some easy thresholds for extra badges like in the mid-range driving layup and post control area it could be a lot better i'm gonna give it a four out of ten the next center build is the same height and it's better all around in my opinion it meets good thresholds with the standing dunk the post control even the driving dunk mid-range three-pointer pass accuracy and all of its defense is upgraded pretty well one thing i don't like is the offense rebound is way too low i'm a big believer in offense rebound especially for center builds so i'm gonna give him a seven and a half out of ten here's the first power forward build a 31 steal on a power forward is crazy overall all the defensive stats are way too low a 60 defense rebound and 70 offensive rebound is insane i also don't like how the driving layup and the driving dunk are both upgraded i feel like you're not going to see the advantages you get with a high driving layup while having a high driving dunk and a high standing dunk because you're probably just going to be stick dunking everything anyways but this is a very unique build i'm going to give it a four and a half out of ten here's the next power four build and honestly this is a lot better but the finishing is just way too low to my liking and there's also no mid-range on this build and i think the pass accuracy and maybe the defensive rebound are a little too high so I'm going to give it a 7.2 out of 10. The first small forward build I can already tell is my favorite build yet. It looks like it's a fun build to play on, definitely a unique build, and it's the best it really gets when it comes to a slasher build. So as long as you're comfortable with those 82 ball handle drill moves at a 6 foot 8 height, then this is great. I'm going to give it an 8.6 out of 10. The next small forward build is more of a lockdown build. I really think he should have upgraded standing dunk for back doors, and I do think he should have upgraded offense rebound over defense rebound for getting rebounds out the corner. And the mid range might be a little too low, and the block in the interior defense might be a little too high, but overall i'm gonna give it a 7.4 out of 10. the first shooting guard build is looking like a crazy bit all-around build amazing mid-range shooter high steal rating with a 91 but he should have gone 45 standing dunk for the standing dunks definitely should have gone at least 89 maybe 90 driving dunk for the extra contact dunk package and gold precision dunker and maybe should have gone 82 perimeter defense for silver challenger and lower this speed with ball to 75 because 77 isn't giving him anything extra but otherwise i love this build i'm gonna give it a 9.1 out of 10. the next shooting guard build is looking like more of a 5v5 two guard build and it's looking a little unique 91 steel 97 3 86 ball handle and it's meeting good finishing thresholds as long as these attributes at a 6 5 height fit your play style and this is a phenomenal build i'm gonna give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. the first point guard build we have right here gets a 62 pass accuracy that's the first thing i noticed and with point guards i feel like your pass accuracy's gotta be higher than that but i know solo and i know his play style can get away with that because he's more of a twos player that set that get takes screens but for the vast majority of people that's not gonna cut it other than that it's a 
pretty solid 6'4 guard build. I'm going to give it a 7.4 out of 10. And then the last point guard build is a 6'6 six six point guard. The defense looks great. The playmaking looks great. The finishing looks good for thresholds. But the biggest thing he's missing is he should definitely should have gone 87 per defense to still get gold challenger and get the 87 three-pointer for the literal best base jump shot in the game, Tracy McGrady. But this is a very solid 6'6 six six build. I'm going to give it an 8.4 out of 10. Okay. Now I can catch my breath. That was a, that was a crazy speed run on rating those builds. Holy. But now it's time to pick a position that I want to go with. Honestly, power forward and center is just not my kind of thing. Like, I feel like I could make a very good power forward and center build, especially power forward. But my power forward build would be too similar to Iggy Moe's and not more unique than Uncle Demi's. And then with the center build, I feel like mine would be a little better than Lily's, but it would be the same height and it would probably just be way too similar to Joey's. Power forward and center is not really my main position. Like, even though I went on that 126 game win streak on a big man build, I'd rather, if I'm going to have a build in the game, I'd rather it be like a guard build, you know, a position I main. And looking at the small forward builds, I feel like Brother Jones and D-Man did a very good job. Like, D-Man's got the unique build and Brother Jones got the lockdown build. So they're already filling some things that I would just be too slim or too just like the power forward and center situation to the point where I just don't want to make a small forward. And then with the shooting guard, I honestly think this is the strongest position in the community build template thing. I think there's two very good shooting guard builds that are both unique. There's definitely a spot here where I could go a competitive route and maybe choose shooting guard to the point where it'd be different enough than these both builds and be good enough. I feel like I have some unique builds that are also super high on the competitive level that are at point guard. And most of my builds are at the point guard position already. So I wouldn't have to like, go out and make a new build plus i'm thinking of a build that i already have and comparing it to these two builds it has some high stats that these builds do not have making it a lot more different than these two builds and it's also a very good build in the competitive scene and it also has that funness if that's even a word that this shakedown build has or maybe that this d-man build has that can kind of increase its chances at getting accepted into the game so after reviewing all those builds and those positions i'm going to go ahead and choose the point guard position which i think a lot of y'all watching the video are going to be excited about we can move on to step number two which is choosing the build and there's going to be three boxes we're going to have to check off to make sure we maximize our odds of getting our build chosen to be put into the game box number one is going to be a unique build box number two is going to be a competitive build and box number three is going to be a fun build so hopefully we can meet the criteria that i want to meet which is having all three of those boxes checked off i'm going to choose not to make a new build because i feel like i already know the perfect build to submit and that's going to be this diamond three level threat aka my two-way hero build so as you can see i just loaded up the build I have this build as a 97 overall and do i have the 99 cap i have the 98 cap breaker. well looking at the stats here i feel like this build has a very high chance of getting accepted into the game and that's really the overall goal of this video like there was no point guard build out there that had anywhere above an 80 driving dunk and this build has a 94 so it gets like every contact you could want at the point guard position not only that it has good shooting stats stats as well you guys have seen me play with this build it shoots very well it also has a super high pass accuracy i think this is the highest pass accuracy besides maybe one of those center builds that any of the builds would have in that community build template and it's at the point guard position so it makes sense to have a high pass at point guard it also has good ball handle and speed ball stats and it also has good defense 85 steel 85 perimeter defense with probably the best physicals out of any of those point guard community template builds. Overall, this build is unique with its high dunk, high pass accuracy combination. And even with its height, weight, and wingspan, max wingspan 6'8", and it's heavy with 219 pounds. And it also unlocks burly body shape. So we can definitely check the uniqueness box off the list. And then with the competitive side of things, I have won wagers with this build, which will be on the channel soon. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to see those. I have won events with this build. I have a 95 win percent with this build. And I'm also a level 40 go tier with this build. So we can definitely check the competitive box off the list. And then when it comes to the fun side of things, it has a 94 driving dunk unlocked some of the craziest contact dunks in the game while still being able to do a little bit of everything else i mean take a look at some clips for yourself we be booming on dudes in every game mode with this build pause okay i mean that might that might need a pause so pause for a second 
but we can definitely check that fun box off the list. And after that, we have all the boxes checked with this build. So let me know in the comments, do you think I made the right decision? Because we are going to be choosing this build. And if you want more information on this build, I already have a build video on it. The link will be in the description. I like to call this build the two-way hero build. But anyways, I think we're done with step number two now that we've chose the build. All right, now we're on to step number three, which is actually entering or submitting our build to 2K to potentially get picked. So 2K actually has a public Discord to do this in. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the Discord. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the channels and see exactly what they want from us and what we all need to submit an actual build. So looking right now, there's actually three things they want. They want screenshots of the build from the position, weight, height, wingspan screen to the actual attribute screen to the actual build name screen. And then they want me to actually write a couple sentences to be put into the builder. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the custom builder and make this build exactly how we did with my build. So six, eight point guard, 219 pounds and seven foot six wingspan. We're gonna screenshot this right here. Then we have to fill out the stats. So we're gonna go 94 dunk. We're gonna go 78 three pointer. We're gonna go 85 ball handle. We got the 89 pass accuracy, of course. So we finished out filling all the stats in. So we're gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of this right here. And then we're gonna move on, make sure we get our build. We got the shades and of course, Lamella ball. And that's giving us the diamond three level threat. So we're gonna go ahead and take this screenshot as well. And now that we've done that, we have to write out our sentences. So if we go to the community builds once again, as you can see, all of these builds have like some sentences written below them. This one's a little longer. We got some, you know, we got some meaty paragraphs here, a couple short ones. So I'm going to go ahead, go into a Google Doc, and we're going to cook something up. So as you can see, we got a little Google Doc up right here. Go ahead and name this, just subscribe to the channel. So if you're seeing me type this out, hey, subscribe. So I feel like the first thing I want to do is really give it that two-way hero name. Because in the build, it's going to say Diving Through Level Threat. But I want to give it like a cool name like I do with my build thumbnails and titles. And the name I already gave it was two-way hero. So obviously we're gonna have, if we're gonna give it a name and or if we're gonna mention a name at all, we have to start that with the little sentences that we give out. So I'm gonna say this 6A diming three level threat, AKA what I like to call my two-way hero build is taking 2k24 by storm okay okay yo i like that that's a good first sentence wl first sentence all right so the next thing i want to mention is obviously how good this builds like badges are because it does get some good hall of fame and gold badges like hall of fame slithery finisher hall of fame bunny hall of fame physical handles even like gold dimer gold posterizer gold mini magician gold ankle breaker gold precision dunker y'all get the gist i also want to talk about the build stats because i feel like in every single section where there it's finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense, or physicals. And I also want to mention kind of like the physical part of this build. You know, it's 6'8", it's big in weight, 219, and it's max wingspan at point guard. So I feel like we need to combine all that into one sentence. All right, I got something. We're going to go with the combination of this build's animations. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to do animation unlocks because... It does unlock a lot of good animations with the drill moves, the dunk packages, and even the jump shots. And then we're gonna go badges, stats, and frame is, oh wait, I spelled that wrong. Frame is scary. Ooh, okay, so I can lie. Bro, we're cooking right now. Okay, the next thing I wanna go over is, you know, how this build is good to have fun on the game if you wanna have fun, or if you wanna play with, you know, you're like IRLs, you want to play like casual game modes or even competitive game modes. And this is how this build is like good for all settings. So we're going to say this, we're just going to make it sit like straight to the point. This build works for all game modes and in both competitive and casual settings. All right, we're gonna go with one last sentence and what i'm gonna go for is you know how in the community build template you can customize the build after going with it i feel like maybe some people don't know that and there definitely are some things that you could change while looking at my build head on like for example maybe you don't want the high pass second you want to go 75 pass second upgrade something else 
Maybe you want a block on this build. You can do that. Maybe you want a higher free throw because you're going to be playing a lot of fives with this build. You can adjust that. I want to make sure people know that. So we're going to say feel free to adjust it to your liking. All right. Honestly, what was this? One, two, three. This was four sentences. So we maximized more sentences. And if we check the word count, it's only 299 characters, 52 words. So we honestly got a lot of information out with you know a simple short paragraph i guess you can say if it even is a paragraph i mean it's pretty short so i like what we did with this so i ended up going into the discord sending my paragraph into one of the channels to submit my build and of course the screenshots to go along with it and then it was time to just wait All right, y'all, after almost a couple weeks of submitting my build in the Discord channel, I actually just got a DM on Twitter from a producer at 2K. So someone that works for 2K. And I've interacted with this guy before on Twitter because I know he works with the builder. And he just DM'd me this, bro. He said, hey, pretty sure I'm going to use your point guard build for the season four community builds. Do you want to go by double H then I take it question mark. So we actually are in, I think, I think we're going to get in the game. He said, pretty sure. Like, bro, is he sure? Like I'm tweaking out right now, bro. Is he sure or not? Bro? Anyways, I responded with yes, sir. I'm good with that. Of course, I want to go by double H in the game. He responded with a thumbs up. So I guess that's good. Like, I don't know. Like the pretty sure is, me is messing with me right now. Right, I'm going to be honest with y'all. That DM I just had shown y'all in the video was a while ago. I'm kind of questioning whether I'm going to get selected or not. But that was until today, a couple days before season four releasing, I got added in this tweet right here. So shout out to my boy, Big Heck. He screenshotted from the 2K24 season four article showing that my community build did get selected. And you guys know how 2K always releases a trailer for the upcoming season with an article attached to it talking about the new rewards uh and what's really all gonna change coming with the new season to 2k so let's go ahead and check it out so if we go to 2k's twitter they clearly have like a courtside report here's the trailer they got going on right here a couple different rewards all that good stuff but then they have the courtside report which is like the article so let's go ahead and take a look at this so we have the courtside report a lot of information that we're not gonna read about oh my gosh it, it, it's true we are there point guard double h yo it's actually going to happen and they even got my boy joe on there oh yo me and joe knows in the same community build class yo that's a crazy backcourt so now that it is confirmed that we are going to be in the game as you can see in the bottom left hand corner we have 10 hours until season three is over which means season four will start in about 10 and a half hours so that's like tomorrow morning so tomorrow morning i'm going to spark a stream like i usually do if you guys didn't know we do be live streaming so make sure to turn on notifications here so you can get notified when we go live yeah i'm gonna start a stream like i usually do for the first day of every season and we're gonna get our live reaction of actually seeing us in the game and hopefully by then when we go over to our builds right here Go over to the builder. We can see my very own build in the point guard section right here in the community builds. And another thing is I have this 2K logo above my head. If you guys don't know what this is, it's basically like getting verified within the game. So when people see me in the park, they know it's me, right? I actually got my 2K logo through winning a 1v1 tournament. If you guys didn't check out that video, go check it out because it was a banger. But anyways, when I get selected to load up the game, not only will I be in that builder and I'll have like my double H build in the game, but I'll have another logo that says a community build logo above my head. So people in game, know that i have a community build in the game and it's gonna override this 2k logo so this is probably the last time i'm going to see this 2k logo in 2k24 and we will be seeing that community build template logo over my head tomorrow hopefully but anyways i'm gonna see y'all when i go live for tomorrow's stream 15 seconds till the new season drops why isn't it working new season oh my god oh my god Yo, yo, W's, W's in the chat. Let's go. New season. I should, bro, imagine that I don't have my logo. I'm about to get scammed, bro. I'm genuinely about to get scammed. Let's see. Okay, season four is here. Bruh. I don't have it. Yo, I got scammed. 
Yo! But let's see if my community build is in here, bro. So if we go over to the builds, now that season four is out, here we go, community builds. Hold on. Point guard. Wait, wait, point guard. Yo, W's. Let's go, baby. Okay. I'm in there, chat. Look at me, bro. Double H, bro. You can make the double H build in 2K24 now. Yo, that is fire. Okay, so let's customize the build. Or let's just finish it. And let's see if it shows uh, the double H thing. All right, we got the shades. Yup. Hold on. You have built double H's diamond lead three level threat. That is sick, bro. That is super. In that's just insane. That is crazy. That is. All right, it's season four, and uh, yeah, I ended stream because the logo and the logo never updated. But hopefully, the logo is updated by now. If it is, I don't know. Maybe it's not. I'm about to load up and see. Yo, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, I got it. The build creator logo. Yo, that's fire. That's dope. Say goodbye to the 2K logo that we won for the 1v1 tournament. And hello to our official build verified creator logo. All right, we got to play at least one game with this build creator logo. And with my, you know, build while it's in the game. You know what I'm saying? So first game of season four. Let's get it. All right, we are in the 1v1. We're playing a six foot six. This dude looks pretty solid as well. They got this Pizza Hut thing going on. I mean, we're literally playing on a big pizza. 12 second shot clock, hustle, and it's losers out. So we're going to be showing off our defense and offense. Let's get it. Come on. Let's get a stop. We're playing the six, six metal bit. Okay. He's shooting a three. That's off. That's off. And I'm not going to get the rebound. <laughs> Yo. Okay. He's not shooting again. We're good. We're good. Oh, no. Okay. Off to a bad start. Hey, we cannot lose our first game with creator logo. We're going to go with the easy standing dunk. That's green. Give me two. We're going to trust. We're going to take our twos. We're, we're a diamond three level threat. That's what the build name really is. I know I call the yo. Did he just is it the Magic Johnson? I thought that move was patched. Like, I, I don't know how that just worked. But hey, we're using LeBron dribble style now, by the way. Oh, my. Yo, I was wide open and made me do that spin. We're good. I'm going to take my two. Like I said, I'm going to take my twos. I'm going to trust my defense. Oh, my God. That's a, see, that's a steal. That's that 85 steal rating. We'd be going crazy with it. Come on. Let's get it. Oh, my God. Oh, go. Is that great? Let's go. Yo, I'm shaking and baking. Step back. Middies, you know, we took the first two dunks. Now we're shooting middies. Come on. We got our lead. We got to get a st Yo, is he? He's like that. I mean, he is missing, but like he's shooting really good. Okay, hold on. Let's get to our mid-range back. Hold on. Give me a second. He's bumping me, though. What is my player doing? Hold on. Is that in? Oh, my God. I missed, bro. I'm down two as well. This is bad. He's not making that right. He's not. Yo, he green that off that crazy animation. Okay, it's comeback time. We're down 11 and 6. We're down 11 and 6. Come on. I'm taking my midi. I'm taking my midi fade. Great. Let's go. Let's get the green machine going. We got a couple of mid ranges in our pocket now. We got a couple dunks in our pocket. We're getting close to takeover. We need to stop, though. We actually need to stop. I'm here. I'm here. You're not getting that. No, that's off. Come on. That's my rebound, too. All right. We low key got to get takeover. He's playing super high. Okay. Now we got to take our dunk. I was going to take another midi, but we got to take our dunk. He's playing so high. He was reaching down one. We need to stop. This build's got defense, though. We got the 85 perimeter. We got the 85 steal. I'm on this, though. He's not making this. Oh, no, I jumped, bro. He really waited out the jump. Okay, that was a, that was a good take. Yep. Boy. Yo, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? He got a heavily on that. What am I doing? What am I actually doing? I'm selling my first game. Give me that. Let's get it stop. 2K is really making me work for this win. Hey, I'm here for it, though. I'm going to shoot this. I'm just going to shoot it off the catch. Green, let's go. Come on. We're locked in. Down to need a stop. I'm here. I'm here. I'm, I'm picking up on his tendencies, bro. I know what he wants to do. That's not going in. No, we're there. <gasps> what? What? Nah, 2K wants to see the win so bad. Hold on. I got it. Like, I want to go for a three, but like he's playing high. Like he knows. 
Gotta take it too. Physical handles on Hall of Fame. Come on, I'm going right by you. Easy dunk. He wants to drive. He wants to drive. No, I'm here. You're not driving on me. I'm here. You're not making two heavilies. You're not making back to back heavilies. Let's go. I have takeover. We're taking any points. Oh my God. Yo, I should. Why is it making me. I agree. I agree. I agree. Anyways, bro, why is it making me do a spin after my LT cancels? That's the second time this game. Tie game. We need to stop. He's still using Magic Johnson. He greened a yellow. Like, I have 85 perimeter, and he's greening yellows in my face. If I win this game, my first game on season four, my first game in like a week since the win streak or a couple weeks, I'm just, I'm taking my, I got to take my two, right? I'm taking my two. We're taking the mid inch. Okay, okay, okay. 20 to 19. I have green mission going. I have sharp take. If I get a stop, I can low key game it. Come on. We're not, we're not giving up a two for game, but he has sharp take. So we got to play somewhat high. He's not making that. He wasted his drill moves. He wasted his energy. He's not making that. He's not making that. He's not making that. He sold. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Cool. Yo, yeah, yeah. I don't know what's been going on. The game is making me do random spin moves this game. I should have been won this game, but we're going to win it anyways. Come on. Oh, he's playing super high. He's what is it making me do? Agreed. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Game. Game time. Bro, it was the game was trying to sell me the whole game, making me do moves I'm not trying to do. Y'all know how it goes. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. We completed our goal of getting our own build into the game. A build that we created a while ago. A homegrown build, some might say. Hey, make sure to subscribe to the channel and go check out this video right here. How I got my other logo, not the creator logo, the 2K logo, through this 1v1 tournament. The video's on the screen.